All right, brand new match. It's been a while since I've done Battlefield Live. Um, I don't know how well I'm about to do, how bad I'm about to do. You know what? Let's use the K10. Why not? Spawning on B. I haven't even played Battlefield today at all. Played a little bit yesterday. And a very little bit the day before. So I don't know how well I'm about to do. But of course we're on the hard line because that's the game that I enjoy playing. So that's the one that I want to play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got the K10. The vector, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's just take C. Okay, I don't even know why I pulled out the secondary there. Probably would have been that guy's using the AUG. The AUG? If you don't use the AUG, I honestly suggest you do. Like, the AUG is is one of my favorite guns. Like, hands down, the AUG is one of my favorite guns. I love the AUG in this game. The K10, if you don't remember, if you used to play Hardline, the K10, man, used to be Kang around here. 100%. This gun used to be king. But it got nerfed eventually. It's still pretty good, but it did get nerfed. It doesn't deal as much damage, but it still has a super high fire rate and low recoil. So, if you can land headshots on people, you can put people down pretty quick with the K10. Just like that. Like, yeah, just like that. You're landing headshots, you're putting them down pretty quick. Pre-fired. Okay. Anything happening down on C? Just jump down, back down to the main lobby. Okay. Hardline is just fun, man. It's always fun to play this game. Hit fire. Hit fire. One bad thing about this gun, though. You gotta reload pretty much after every kill. Yeah, you have to reload pretty much after every, like, trigger pull, honestly. It doesn't have very many bullets. And that's one of the things about the Vector in real life, too. The Chris Vector. It doesn't have very many bullets. So if you're full autoing the Chris Vector in real life, you, you're probably not gonna put down that many... You're not going to be able to hit that many targets, like, over and over and over and over. Like, but this, they do make the, I'm pretty sure the 45 ACP Chris Vector, they make a semi-auto one. It's a 45, and the beauty of the 45 is that it has the Vector technology, or, like, the Vector, whatever they call it. You know, they call it Vector for a reason. It's the way the gun is designed. A lot of the recoil goes down you're not back into your shoulder so it's a one of the easiest 45s to actually like control which is you know a pretty cool thing like it's one of the easiest 45s to control that's some pretty cool stuff though like some that's some really good engineering right there wow that guy didn't see me oh grenade Ooh. Oh man, I don't know man, the K-10 is still a, like a great gun, it's still a pretty viable choice to use, you know, as your main gun on Hardline, it's still very, very viable, like, it doesn't deal as much damage, it's not like a melt machine like it used to be, but it's still good. They call it MW2 because we drop shot and Yeah, 
Yeah, see, like, that's a problem. But you can rush pretty hard with it, though. But I, most of the time, I like to stay... I still like to play kind of passive with the K-10 just because I don't deal... Yeah, like, that gunfight, I'm never going to win. He's got an M416. Okay. Versus at, like, a medium-range gunfight, I'm never going to win that. And not in a million years. I'm just not going to win that gunfight. Like... It's never going to happen, especially using a K-10. Now, if I was using, like, a UMP, um, even a P-90, if his, you know, aim wasn't all that great, I, I might have been able to win it. But the K-10, it just doesn't deal enough damage at range unless you're landing, like, two headshots and then, like, two body shots. So, but... If you are a player that finds yourself that that enjoys using shotguns and finds yourself in pretty much close range engagements in every single gunfight you get into, this gun is literally perfect for you. You're not going to lose very many gunfights. It's not going to happen. You're not going to lose like barely ever. Are you going to lose a gunfight that you the the K10 definitely suits a certain play style, I would say. Like, it's, it's definitely a, um, now it is at least, you know, pre-patch K-10, any player could use it. Like, everybody knows, oh my god, I just got wrecked. But everybody knows that, you know, me as a player, I'm either a very aggressive, medium-range sniper, so I'll run the AWM with extended mags and ACOG on it, or I'm running, like, some kind of assault rifle or battle rifle whether it's the m16 the scar you know if i'm really feeling like i need to be as viable as possible it'll be the fal and stuff like that like medium range to slightly longer range combat weapons is what i specialize in like i play very well with certain battle rifles like the scar and i play very well with assault rifles and an AWM with an ACOG on it. Like, that's my area of expertise right there. Where are you at? Oh. We out here YYing. That's a very useful skill to learn, actually. If you don't, like, get in the habit. Like, if you get, if you get into a reloading situation and somebody runs up on you, Press triangle or Y or whatever you're playing, whatever. Whether you're playing on whatever or one two if you're on PC, or like one two, like one two one, and it'll switch right back. Like, you, and hopefully you had some ammo left, and you can just whip your gun right back out and put them down pretty much just as quick as you aiming down your sights. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We're jumping down. Oh, got over there in that corner. Oh, no, it's just my teammate's laser sight. Whoa. Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> Gotta stay alive for a little more time, baby. Gotta stay honestly. K10, if it had a if it had like any bigger of a magazine, like if they actually allowed you to have a extended mag on this gun, it would be insane. It would just be out of this world. It it would probably be one of the best guns in any battlefield like ever. Like I'm telling you right now, if they allowed you. To pop an extent, like actually have an extended mag on this gun, it would be unfair. Like I don't, like don't put extended mags. Don't ever. No. You know, high DPS because of this high fire rate. Okay. At least it's the same thing with the Mac 10. If there was extended mags on that thing, it would be over for the world. You pop a mini RDS on that thing, a heavy barrel or something like that. 
but the only drawback from having the Mac 10 is that it doesn't have very much ammo in one magazine or a clip. So you're kind of at a disadvantage there. Now certain people are not at a disadvantage there because their aim is just godlike. Like Eric is probably one of the best K10 players I've ever seen in my life. Even after the patch, I'm telling you right now, that man's aim for the head is so unbelievably good that even with the K10 after the patch, he'll slap somebody. He'll slap them. Medium range, any of that. Like, he doesn't even need that many bullets. He'll slap somebody in, like, five shots out of the K-10. Two of those headshots, three of those body shots or something like that. And he'll put somebody down mad quick. I don't know how he does it. Move, bro. Whoa, you got turned on. Turn off your PS4. Turn off your PS4. I'm low health. I'm low health. I'm scared right now. They got me out here sitting in the corners. I'm scared. Tell you, man, this K10. It ain't what it used to be, but it's still a great, it's a very viable weapon. It's a very viable choice if you want to do well on Hardline. It's still viable, man. Ah! What am I doing? 33 and 7? I got the most kills in the whole lobby. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm not at the top of the leaderboard because I haven't really been playing objective, but we're still winning. I only did 68 damage there. That's what I mean, man. K10, not very much. The farther you get out, there's a very, very substantial uh, like damage drop off when you get out of range. You will know. You're getting a whole bunch of hit markers, my boy. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have peeked him. I ain't even mad at him. That's a good tactic. I mean, I got a K-10. He's got a shotgun. And I mean, wait for me to hit the corner, man. I ain't mad. Now, you gonna revive me in the middle of the hallway, and then you're gonna stand there so I can't run away. Sometimes you just see bad, bad medics. Honestly, I would compare the K-10 to like the automatic on battlefield one like if you don't really play hardline and you really only play like battlefield one like i don't really i don't really have a comparison for it in four i guess you could say like i don't know i mean the pdwr was pretty good in four but that's not a k10 but the automatico is like the closest thing to a k10 that's in battlefield one you know, tight hit fire spread, high fire rate, damage drops off pretty hard at a range. Like it's it's pretty it's pretty close. Pretty close. Much more time we got. Not very much, because we're kinda slapping this team right now. It's been so long since I've done a battlefield live. I don't even it's been so long, man. This G17 race pistol is is basically a regular G17 with a higher fire rate. So if you don't feel like unlocking the G17, you can just use this. I'm about to Spider-Man, Spider-Man kill, Spider-Man kill. Yep, just hop up right off of the ceiling, my boy. You got peeked on. Oh snap, they messing people up over there. I'm running. I ain't even playing with it. I'm gonna get up this stuff. Actually, somebody's about to run in here. Oh, never mind. they got wrecked. Okay, running up the stairs. Okay. People by the parking garage. This is actually the coyote site that they took out of the game after the beta, but they put it back on the race pistol, so. That's pretty lit. OK. 
Okay, let's go back downstairs because I feel like that's the ideal place to be when you have a K10. I'm going to go watch that door over there. Actually, I think my teammates got held down pretty well. Ah, that guy had 14 health too. If that guy, if that one guy didn't come to the door, that guy saved his life, son. Oh, man. Yeah, K10, it's still pretty good. It's still good. Whoa. 100 damage, though. Oh, yeah, don't head peek on a K10 user. Don't be head peeking on K10 users. Don't be doing that. Oh. Ah. Dang. I don't know why I peeked him. He's got a three. T he's got a three point five times scope on the the SAR twenty one. That's a bet. That's a there's a live battlefield match for you, and of course I'm in one of these message chats. I'll be right back. So that was Battlefield Live. I did another episode. It's been a while, but I hope you liked that. I kind of focused around one weapon this time. And tell me if I should start doing that. Like, should I just start talking, like, whatever I want? Or should I start talking about, like, a certain weapon? Like, today I focused on the K-10 or, like, or the Chris Vector. And, like, how it has been in Battlefield Hardline and how it is now. But, anyway, peace out, guys. Spam me it!